I've been using Notion for a couple of years now and my system has refined incredibly. We will go through an overview of my system as it exists today. Before I start, a quick highlight. The details of how I exactly design these workspaces, the way I go about creating relations, roll-ups and formulae to run my workflows seamlessly are elaborated extensively in my new course. Registrations are currently open at the time of publishing this video. Some of the templates I use to create this workflow can be found on my website. Details for registering into the course or buying the templates are in the description below. If I were to give a single piece of advice to my younger 21 year old self, I would tell him this, success is built out of small microscopic actions that you carry out. Individual microscopic actions compound to create a big impact in the first 30 days itself. That's how the 1% succeed at what they do. While I follow the principles outlined in James Clear's and Charles Duhigg's books, I have a system that prevents those failures. Let me explain the concept. I believe that we have our life on rent and we pay our rent daily through the actions we do and living in that space. Just remember that I said the words daily. The surest way to success is through daily work. Every time I lose my path, I go back to watching a video around how people prepare to climb Mount Everest and how they discipline themselves to reach the Everest base camp. So my homepage pays homage to that preparation and it's called Basecamp 2.0. Any checklist centered around time, that's the calendar, the to-do list, represents a great way to prepare. My Basecamp 2.0 is where I start my day and where I end it. My Basecamp is divided into six areas. At the top, I have a quote from Walt Disney that pretty much drives my life. The next row is a bunch of shortcuts that takes me into several projects and areas of my workspace. That way I don't have to go through a busy menu system. These represent daily activities. For example, it contains my CRM, my bookkeeping page, which houses my monthly results, my PNL and balance sheet. It houses my knowledge bases and much, much more. I'll show you a glimpse of this in a few minutes. As we go into the third row, I have a 1% daily productivity system, which houses reflections that I meditate on for the first 20 minutes of my day. It also enables me to capture the reflections of the day in a synopsis at the end of the day. If you want to see more around this, check out this video or the template. The details are in the description. If you move to the fourth row, it has the life operating system that enables this journey further. The life operating system itself is divided into three parts. Life aspirations, which includes the value drivers, actions and projects. And they look at the big picture. Those dovetail again into daily actions and projects. There's a personal productivity curve that plots the best actions that you can carry out by time. Therefore, when you make choices on what tasks and projects to follow through, you can make conscious choices based on the personal productivity curve. If you dive deeper into the personal productivity curve, you will discover how your circadian rhythm and the temperature govern your productivity. You assign high, medium or low to your actions based on your individual responses. It can also be modified to suit the month so that you are the most productive. Based on this, you can align your tasks to the personal productivity curve. The ultimate GTD system pretty much governs your individual tasks and the projects inside it. There's also my fifth area within Basecamp 2.0. It has a number of links and backlinks that allow you to visit different project areas. If you lose track of time, the reminder will alert you of a new task that's coming up. A question that often comes up is how do you see and review longer term vision? I use a built-in review system inside of the life operating system and the ultimate GTD system. This allows me to look deeper into each one of the aspirations and follow that through into the GTD system. So I have set up reviews from weekly to annual. 
and I look at different things during that period. Reviews by itself are an extremely big topic, so I'll cover that in a subsequent video. The last area in my workspace are the life operating system dimensions. This houses all the workspaces divided by every area of my life, my work, myself, my family, my home, my knowledge, and how I manage other relationships. So as I progress through my day, I'm constantly hopping in and out of different workspaces. There are three that I pretty much use on a daily basis or even multiple times a day. All these three are business workspaces and I thought I could cover them today. All my new or existing customers are linked back to my CRM. This can be accessed through this shortcut at the top or from within my GTD system. My CRM has a prospect book, a sales book, a customer book, customer projects, and of course, tax records. The records are interlinked between each other. So I can see pretty much any dashboard regarding customer level or sales level information. All of this is linked back to my second workspace that houses my bookkeeping. This is again enabled through the global link at the top. The bookkeeping section has the revenue clocked for the month or for the financial period. And this is a summary by product. It has my asset master. The asset master houses all the assets and the equipment I need to efficiently run my business. I can capture the assets procured in local or international currencies. And this includes all the taxes and the levies paid. It's linked back to my depreciation table and that calculates the depreciation in accordance with the local laws. My expenses capture expenses incurred during the year. Asset blocks are necessary to calculate the value of assets that go back into the balance sheet. Tax depreciation rates are captured so that seamless tax calculations can be done. So at the end of it, automatically you will find the PL and the balance sheet for Studio CX 360. So in essence, you will find a complete integration from the CRM right till the balance sheet. And even a single entry inside of the CRM can be updated immediately into the balance sheet. My third workspace is with regards to YouTube. All my YouTube projects are inside this project tracker. So if you go inside the current video, how I use Notion, you will find the thumbnail, the story and the script embedded. You will also have direct access to resources from here. And most importantly, the entire project progress of 41 steps can be viewed as sub projects with completion percentages. Each sub project has a checklist. So within a matter of seconds, I can immediately see the progress. Again, you will find the extensive use of formulae, relationships, roll ups within the project management techniques I use from my experiences. So how can you replicate it? In my Notion Masterclass, I cover different aspects of mastering Notion from design to execution. And then I dive deeper into each one of these above use cases so that you can create your own versions of the same. My templates, which are sold on my website, are great accelerators to execution. You can check both of these out in the links in the description. If you're not yet part of this community, do consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the bell icon to stay notified of new videos. If you like the video, do consider sharing it with your friends. Stay safe, stay healthy, peace.